songs and performances don't always have to be expressions of I'm good. I want to show you that I'm good. There are certain singers or certain players you can tell that their overall objective is to make sure you know they're good. And, and, and this sort of gets into the overplaying thing, and it's not like that was the most demure performance I've ever given of a song. But people see more about your playing and your spirit and your personality and your performance than you're really smart enough to understand that they do. When you're a drummer and you just play Now you might be going like this. I know what this is. This is just There's all these other things I want to do. But to anyone else looking, they go, that guy is shining through. I get that. I feel that. And you have to give people credit. Remember, they're smarter than you. You have to give people credit that they can see the things you're not aware of. And when you can do things that don't always telegraph. Because what I always say is, if you want me to think you're great, just write it down on a piece of paper and hand it to me. But please think I'm great. I can do that. I can think you're great. But I want to feel something. And again, there's things about you that you're trying too hard to find other things. Trying to find the newest, hottest, fastest thing. You don't even know what I'm looking at. You got to give me some credit that I went, this guy's got a thing. I'm like, that damn guy, guy's got a thing. Believe me, I can see into it. And everyone else can see into it. And if you start thinking about working on that other axis of that soul thing, that feeling thing, and trust that people will see you're good. You don't have to play your newest, hottest thing for people to see you're good. I could have gone on a guitar solo thing. I know exactly where I would have gone. But Okay, but then I would have lost it. <laughs> you know, people will see through it. People can tell. They, I give them a lot of credit. You know, I was just wondering. I've had a, a kind of a hard time lately trying to write stuff that is like speaks to people, and it is me, but it's not really me. Um, and I'm sure you're trying to write songs that speak to people, but they're they're not speaking to people. They are, but it's more like because I'm saying it. But at the same time, it's not really me. But it's not addressing yourself. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? Yeah. I think that has to do with a certain, uh, you, you haven't made the trip inside, as I call it. Truly made the trip inside. And that's what Boston is. Take walks. Look around. Get out of the 150 Mass Ave, Boylston, Uchida <laughs> building, <laughs> axis of evil sometimes. <laughs> and get out. And, I got into a, I was having the same problem. I'm having the same problem now. I went in the studio for two days, thousands of dollars, going to the studio to record a song, what I thought was a song, and it's just a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. So I get into a car, two hours later, the sun's going down, it's 55 degrees, I can smell wood in the air, and I'm on my way up to Boston, and I got a Dunkin' Donuts, and all of a sudden I go, wow, I got a lot to say. And I think it has to do with exploring, just getting out and looking around. There's a lot, you know, you're inside, at some point your inside's gonna go, get down here, <laughs> you know? And when you do, so here's the thing, what's wrong with being able to practice and learn the ability to express and practice on expressing things you don't feel yet? Because what you're learning is the technique. And then when you finally take the information you're learning and put it with the inspiration of where am I? Where am I? Who are my new friends and what happened to my old friends and what? It'll happen, I promise. I promise you, you're gonna have your own little like, whoa, 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 whoa. I had it, middle of October. I was like, I get it, I'm at Berkeley. Uh, and all of a sudden I went, whoa. This ultimate, look, you, you might hit a little panic thing. You might hit an anxiety thing. Some of you may have already hit the, whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta walk, I gotta take a walk, I gotta take a walk, I gotta take a walk, I gotta go outside, I gotta take a walk. That's your inside going, get down here. <laughs> Which I don't think is a bad thing. I think it's terrible at first because you have to sort of uh, make friends with the truest part of the missing and the need. And, and I don't wanna say darkness, but emptiness. And when you finally connect with that, 
You're gonna write six in a row because you're gonna know how to. You're gonna know how to take that idea. God, how do I ever do this and that and that? And why did I get this crappy letter from a friend who says they don't want to be a friend anymore? And why did I? You'll know how to express it. So, I understand the need to want to finish a song and go, going to Fridays. Oh, oh. <laughs> You know, I used to do that all the time. I used to love writing a song and going out to dinner. Because when you write a song, when you create something, you get this feeling, especially here, where you're constantly in an identity crisis because you see everyone else doing what, they, what you want to do. All of a sudden, your chest goes out and you go, you don't have what I wrote. <laughs> and that is the greatest feeling in the world. Taking a walk because you know you have a song and you're just going to come back after dinner and finish that bridge. Ooh better drug than anything I've ever heard about in my life, ever. That is the high of all life. You've created something for free that will give you identity and purpose and a feeling of, of, of being awake in every way, and it'll happen. But in the meantime, get the house ready for it.